I'm Paolo Byron Farr here with Roy Bazio before the North Face Endurance Challenge. How are you doing, Roy? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Last time we chatted, you were in uh, Chamonix. It was. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> After a great run at UTMB, and you were uh, planning to stay for a while longer in the Alps. I did. How'd I did. that go? It was great. It was a perfect way to recover. A little hiking time. Yeah, it was really nice up in, in Switzerland. So. In Switzerland? Yeah. Right, we're in Switzerland. Um, we were uh, like in the Lauterbrunnen Valley, like across from the Eiger and the Jungfrau. And it was it was pretty phenomenal. That's was a really good nice. place to relax. Yeah, it was really nice. Lots of well, we didn't. My family doesn't really relax, but lots of hiking. So it was fun. <laughs> hiking some good food. Yeah, really good food. Really good weather. It was, it was awesome. Perfect. Uh, when did you head back stateside? Um, like mid late September. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you done some training since you've been back? Or? Yeah, I've kind of just been on my usual go out and run. Whenever I feel like it, for however long I want, kind of program. So yeah, I've been running. What does that look like? For, I mean, I know um, there's one thing like not have a training plan, but like what? Yeah. Is, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I go out and run for a few hours and then come back go for a little run in the afternoon, that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah there's a, a decent amount of just going out and running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same pace, probably. You know, not mixing it up enough. Yeah. You just like Horrible. to go run. Yeah. Um, have any particularly? fun runs this uh, autumn? Let's see. Yeah, I had a couple, there's a couple trails in Tahoe that I love to do in the fall because of the, like, leaves changing and everything, and I, like, timed it just right, so. Yeah. I like, um, So that was pretty fun. And, uh, I can't think. I came down here and ran a little bit in November. In the headlands, or? Yeah, a little bit in the headlands. Which was super fun. Get on the course or just a little bit. Goofing around? Yeah, a little bit. I kind of I like feel like there's so many other trails to kind of check out that I don't think get to check out enough. So I only did a little bit of the course, um, but it was nice. It was nice. Mm -hmm. uh, get some more rolling hills and probably yeah. you uh, yeah. get on a daily basis. Yeah, I like the rollers. They're fun, runnable. Yeah, and uh, this year we should uh, have some. It'd be cool, but not for you. Mm -hmm. Weather-wise, uh, some good views. Should yeah, I hope so. Hopefully. I haven't even looked at a weather report. Let's see clear. Could be. Could be. Once, it, once the day rolls in, uh, it's going to be cold. Uh, There's always a chance. Could be actually snow on the floor. Really? It's very light. Very, very little bit. Oh, I'd feel so at home. You would. I've been post polling for the past three weeks. So you're feeling, you've been working on the strength. Yeah. <laughs> Not the speed necessarily. No. Everything has felt like one of those like rubber tire obstacle courses where you're like, knee high, knee high, knee high. So see a high step into the finish line, yeah. we know why. Yeah. So how do you, it's been a long season. Mm -hmm. You had, you know, you obviously were in great shape in new TMB time. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like you've been able to maintain some of that fitness? I guess so. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I feel like maybe not right now. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's a crapshoot and you never know. Like two weeks ago, I felt like I was running pretty good. So, sure. Well, the if the if the answer changes from two weeks out to two days before the race, it's called tapering. Yeah. Where you're like, eh, not that great shape. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to be. Yeah, tapering is not fun. No. Yeah. Are you actually good at tapering? I you seem like you're very you know intuitive and you just like to go do your thing. I'm pretty good. I actually am pretty regimented about tape. Like I force myself. Like to that's tape. the actual like structured part yeah. of your training. This this week wasn't hard because I was working a lot, so I don't really run my work. And you work some pretty long shifts, right? I do twelve hours. Have you? It's really more like thirteen. Yeah. Have you? How have you dealt with that in the past with racing? I mean, have you done it like before Western States or? I usually just work like the first, like the Sunday Monday before the race, and then take a like a, a personal day, not calling in sick. Like <laughs> we get like eight of them a year. Like take a personal day. Um, so I only work two days that week, kind of thing. Okay. Or, um, so you get still you get a little break from yeah. being on your legs. Yeah. I mean, does that actually tire you out? I mean, you've been doing it for a long time. Depends but on the night. And yeah. Patient. But, uh, really? Yeah. So sometimes it's a test of patience rather than. Uh, Depends on how many, how much narcotics I can give my no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> how many ambiens I can no, I'm totally joking. Um, it just, it just depends on the night. Yeah, how busy you are. Yeah. Um, this race, uh, the North Face Endurance Challenge, has been great field for years mm -hmm. but every year we show up or I show up and it seems even stronger than the year before like are you excited maybe to... just the level of runners is just elevating every like, year the whole probably what it is the whole like universe of so, runners right? like, yeah. yeah I think so I think the field is growing the sport is growing yeah. and with it that it only makes sense there's more top runners and 
Yeah. Or top runners come yeah, here. That would make sense. Yeah. Right. You excited to run them? Run against them? Sure. Yeah. I'm always excited to see like people you haven't seen in a while. Hopefully get to I like running with people at races since I train so much by myself. Do you find you like you, you chat with some of the other competitors along the way? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Hopefully they like to chat back, otherwise it's just like pulling teeth or finally you realize like, oh, they don't want to talk to me. <laughs> You're chatting away and somebody's giving you the, the evil eye. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you do find some uh, fun folks to chat with out there and have a great Me time, too. Rory. Thanks. Looking forward to it.